Hello everybody, Butler Pulvis here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the flat guns and Gates of Hell um, for Germany. And this was actually requested by a subscriber of mine, so please make sure if you want to see me do a demonstration like this uh, for anything, just let me know in the comments and I will probably be able to do it. So, uh, as the title says, we're going to go through all the flat guns, including the uh, 88s, the 36 and the 18, and I'm also going to be quickly kind of going over the uh, vehicles that also carry these, these guns, including some scout cars and half tracks. And like every other video, it's just going to be mo mostly my opinion and uh, kind of showing off what each of these guns are used for. So. First, we have the 2cm Flak 30, HE and AP. It is pretty good at killing infantry. These are just some basic riflemen with 200 HP. <clears throat> pretty decent rate of fire. Obviously, the HE is good at killing those groups of infantry, especially in Conquest. Uh, this is the first gun you unlock for the flat guns in Conquest to get any of these. So this is the first gun you have to research. It has AP. That's not bad. It's honestly good at mainly just killing scout cars and light tanks like BA-20s and BA-10s and BA-2, or not BA-2, sorry, BT-2s. It has a little bit more trouble with BT-2s because of the sloped armor and weird angles a BT-2 has, but it can get the turret pretty quickly. Uh, it can also penetrate T-26s uh, through the front plate and the bottom plate in the turret. So it's it's pretty good against those light tanks, but it's not going to be doing much more than that. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, I don't even use this gun because this is one research point after this gun and it's better in pretty much every way and I'm going to show you why right now just way better rate of fire and you get a gun shield so you don't have to worry about riflemen um, just absolutely obliterating your your gunner <laughs> the gun shield is very very useful as you can see um, as you can see it's the same gun just better rate of fire it has the exact same range, by the way. I've updated my range indicators to these little bright yellow markers. They have about 150 range each. And the AP values are obviously going to be the same. It's effective against scout cars, light tanks, half tracks. All that stuff is going to be pretty easy to kill with this thing. Overall, I would just say go for the 38 instead of the 30. It's just it's just better uh, if you're looking for something on defense, especially. Um, also, I'd like to mention T35s. It can pin them on the turret and the bottom plate, so just be mindful of that. They're really good against light tanks and infantry. Alright, let's move on to the 3.7 seat Reflect 37. Obviously, it's better HE and it's better AP. With a lower rate of fire and better accuracy. It pretty much does the same amount of damage as these 2 centimeters due to the HE being better. But it's more accurate, so it's a little bit more effective. I believe you only get 10, oh 12, you get 12 per magazine, the reload's pretty fast, not much to worry about, the rate of fire is a lot slower. AP is a little better, BT7, obviously T34, don't expect too much out of it, <laughs> light tanks. Like the T40, it can pin them. T26s, it can pin them. T35s, it can pin. Uh, SU76s, tank destroyers, obviously. Everything except T34s and KVs, basically. 
this thing can take care of with its AP. And it has better accuracy, so it's overall better at killing tanks compared to these two. Um, that's probably pretty obvious. As you can see, it's just the aiming circle. Stay small. Doesn't get bigger as you fire compared to the two centimeters. So it's great at killing tanks. And there goes one right now. <laughs> Alright, the five centimeter. It's one of my favorite flat guns in the game. And that is because it shoots a five centimeter round at a really fast rate of fire. You only get five, but hey. Uh, you only need five. The reload's not that bad either. This thing absolutely slings HE across the battlefield. It has a better range by 10, as you can see here. 10 more than the 2 centimeters. It has the same range as the 3.7 centimeter. No different. It has AP, HE, so it's n really good at killing tanks. Yes, you can pin the bottom plate of a T-34, and you can pin the turret. Accuracy with AP. About like that. The aiming circle does get larger as you shoot, though. So, the accuracy, but not very much. I mean, like, come on. Not very much at all. So, it's, it's still really accurate. It's amazing at killing infantry, it's amazing at killing tanks, overall this thing's really fun. I don't know anyone that doesn't like this thing. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the FLEC 88s. The 18 and 36, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now that they are the same gun, except this one packs itself up faster than the 18. Because the 18 has to turn its, its turret all the way around towards the back every time it sets up. The FLEC 8, uh, 36 does not have to do that. Uh, they're really good at killing tanks. As you can see, it has APHE and it has really good penetration values on it. It has a max range of, as you can see here, around 210. So compare that to the 270 that you get. Wait, what? Yeah, the, about the 260 you get with the uh, 5 centimeter. You're getting a lot more range out of these things. Uh, obviously, they're not really the same. They're not auto cannons like the others. But they're still flat guns, so I had to include them. Um, but yeah, they're really good at killing infantry, or uh, killing tanks. Their high velocity projectile makes them a little, a little hard to aim at infantry, but if you can hit them. She's really, really good. <laughs> Obviously, it's not as accurate as field artillery. Um, because it's a high-velocity projectile. Direct fire. It's made for shooting at planes and tanks. Not really at being a field gun. Uh, they can penetrate IS, IS-1s. The bottom plate, obviously, and the, the cheeks of the turret here. I think it can even pin the mantlet, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. SU-100Y, KV-1s, T-34s, turret, and the upper hole easily can be penetrated by the 88s. Um, I'm not going to go through here and try to try to penetrate everything. don't have time for that, but... <laughs> You know, if you if you get lucky or these things get close enough, you can penetrate the turret and you can penetrate this lower plate here on pretty much all of these. Obviously a T-35 and it can pin the SU-152 bottom plate in here, just so you can see. It can penetrate there and there. Obviously these tanks on the side will be easy to kill. Uh, but yeah, overall these things are amazing at taking out tanks. Really high velocity, meaning the time for the shell to get to your to get to your target really fast. So these guns are really accurate. Uh, I just want to briefly talk about the vehicles. Um, we have Opal Blitz with a two centimeter on the back. These are both flak 30s, by the way, not 38s. So the rate of fire is slightly slower, and there's no gun shield. Uh, the, tr the half track's better because it has better armor values and it's five faster.
65 compared to 60, so the half track's better. Um, for the 3.7 centimeter, we have the A half track with speed of 50, armor of, turret armor of 8, 2.5, and then we obviously have the uh, SDKFC 7 slash 2, which has better armor and a little bit slower. Um, as you can see, this has a gun shield, this one does not. This one's probably a little better at protecting its crew. Uh, at the cost of speed, of course, but that's really about it. Uh, here we have some popular vehicles that I wanted to cover that have these guns. Pretty much all of these, I believe, are Flak 38s. Let me make sure. Yep, these are mostly all Flak 38s. Except this one. The 231. I believe is an even slower rate of fire. <laughs> so, it's a little bit slower, but I believe the accuracy, from what I can see, is way better, which is kind of interesting. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, then obviously we have the armored car. It has the same cannon. By the way, these have APCR, for those of you that want to use APCR. So they have a little bit extra penetration. This one, the all four of these I believe have APCR which is interesting. Uh, these two have high rate of fire, these have slow rate of fire, but a little bit better accuracy. The range is, I believe, the same as the normal flat guns, no different. And uh, half track, speed of 60, 234 slash 1, 80, so it's really fast. And then obviously the 231 has is super fast, 85. And then the armored car 222 uh, Model A is 70. So these are these are just really fun for driving around the map really fast. You know, if you want to flank your your enemy in a multiplayer match, you can really annoy them with these things. Uh, you can also get these kind of things. They're a little quicker to move around the battlefield than these, uh, unless you want to tow these guys around, which these guys all do tow. By the way. So trucks, trucks can tow them pretty easily. Don't run away from me. <laughs> so yeah, these are all towable by Opal Blitzes and half tracks and such. Um, even the AA trucks themselves can tow them. <laughs> so double the firepower, am I right? But yeah, so let's just, just quickly going over the, each of these. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this was requested by subscribers, so if you guys want to see anything else, just please, please, please leave a comment and let me know what you want to see, and I will try my best to do that. I will be unavailable for about a week, so I won't be able to do it till next week, but uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to do those things. So hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.